So I want to let you in on a little secret. I didn't actually learn Cinema 4D as a motion designer. Well, that's kind of a bit of a lie. I did do a course probably about 10 years ago, but we never used it at the place I was working, so I didn't get to practice it. But today, being a motion design generalist, I really do think that you need to learn Cinema 4D as well and have that under your belt if you do want to be a generalist and not someone who works in a specific style. So I recommend that you carry on watching this video if you're thinking about learning Cinema 4D because we have many resources in here for you. In this video, we asked our student community and also our social media audience what places that they love to learn Cinema 4D from. So I've collated this massive list and I broke it into structured places to learn Cinema 4D and then also free places to learn Cinema 4D. So let's jump into it. So first off, I want to let you know about Cinema 4D Basecamp. Now this is a great course from School of Motion. I'm sure most of you are aware of School of Motion already. So you can see EJ Hassenfratz teaches this course and he is an excellent instructor. You'll see him featured throughout this video because EJ has been teaching Cinema 4D in many different places but this is his signature course I think on School of Motion so I highly recommend that you check out School of Motion because they do fantastic courses and they also give you feedback um, as well throughout the course which I think is really good and you can have an extended critique period as well which is excellent. So in terms of getting started in Cinema 4D I would really recommend doing one of these more beginner Cinema 4D courses where you have a bit more structure, you can get feedback and that sort of stuff. So next I want to move on to 3D for designers. This is Devon Coe's website. I really like Devon and what she's putting out there. I'm also really inspired by some of the work that she shares from her students. I think that she encourages designers to be a bit more playful with colour and things like that in 3D. So if that interests you, I definitely check out Devon's course as well. Another place to learn in a structured way that I've heard many good things about is Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Now you're going to get lots of different training in there, yes, but I think that you also get access to a Slack community, which I've heard is very helpful for troubleshooting problems. And you're also going to get all of their different texture packs and things like that. So I definitely recommend Grayscale Gorilla Plus. It's a subscription and I think that they've got loads of materials and stuff in there for you. Next, I want to talk about structured learning, but from some tools that maybe you already have access to. For example, if you already have a Skillshare account, you can check Check out Don Mupassi's course on there and it's Introduction to Cinema 4D, a beginner's animation guide. I'm really impressed by his work. You can see him, he's called Visual Don on Instagram and I think it's just really, really cool futuristic style work. So if you're into that, then I think this could be a good course for you to take as well. And the other place that you might already have access to and if you want to learn Cinema 4D could be a good choice is of course LinkedIn Learning. So if you already have a LinkedIn Learning learning account, you can go on there and you can see that Andy Needham has actually done quite a few courses on there. Also EJ again has popped up on LinkedIn Learning so you can learn from him on there as well. So I think that could be a good solution if you already have a LinkedIn Learning account or you can get access to one. If you're enjoying this video and you want to start a career or build a business as a Cinema 4D artist, this is what we teach you at Motion Hatch. So do make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more good videos around the business side of design and animation. So most of the places that you can learn Cinema 4D for free are of course on YouTube. So I'm just going to whiz through these YouTube channels because there's an awful lot to get through. So first off is Rocket Lasso. Now Rocket Lasso has loads of good tutorials and some stuff talking about the latest updates and things like that. So I definitely recommend you check out Rocket Lasso and Chris Schmidt on all of the things that he's doing over there. The next place of course to check out is the Maxon YouTube channel. So they've got loads and loads and loads of tutorials and different things. They also have, I believe, some live events and things like that on there as well. Next up, we have Liam Clism. Now he is known as 531 and he is teaching motion designers on his YouTube channel about Cinema 4D, Redshift and Houdini. 
And of course, we did mention Grayscale Gorilla earlier, but they do also have a YouTube channel where they teach motion designers about Cinema 4D and about their new plugins and all of that kind of good stuff. And also sometimes they do live office hours as well, which I really enjoy. And also I did want to mention quickly School of Motion's YouTube channel too. School of Motion do of course do some Cinema 4D tutorials on their School of Motion channel. And of course you can see EJ over there as well. Next up is the motion designers community. So they teach Cinema 4D and Houdini as well and I believe that they have a few interviews on there. I actually went to a meetup that the motion designers community organized in London a few years ago and I actually got to meet Andrew Kramer which was really really exciting. Then we have Nidia Diaz and Nidia is a art director for motion and she has a few quick tip tutorials on her YouTube channel. We actually also did an interview with Nidia so if you want to check that out the link will be below this video in the description. Next up we have Jonathan Wimbush. He has worked with clients like DC, Marvel and Netflix. He has an extensive amount of tutorials as well on his YouTube channel so it's definitely worth checking out. And last but not least we have EJ Hassan Fratt's YouTube channel. If you hadn't had enough of him already in this video, we love the iDesign YouTube channel because he releases videos on there with all the cute characters that he likes to make in Cinema 4D. So it's definitely worth checking out his YouTube channel as well as his School of Motion class. If we missed out any channels or places that you love to learn from, please do pop a comment below this video and watch this video next where I tell you about the best places to learn After Effects for free.